Hi, welcome to excelrush.com. Today we are going to learn how to create a pivot table. A pivot table is basically to summarize your data. Let's take an example. Here we have a sales of umbrellas. There are a thousand rows of data. We want to summarize this data. So the first step is you select all the data by pressing Ctrl A. Then under the insert tab, on the first option you click on pivot table and something like this will open up. Here it is asking you for a table or a range which is already pre-selected because you selected your entire data using Ctrl A. Then it is asking you where do you want to have your pivot table placed in a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. Let's say now right now we go for a new worksheet and you press OK. A new sheet is created with on the left side a net a framework of your pivot table. On the right side is your list of fields that is the list of columns in your data. Below that you have four things filters, rows, values and columns. Right now we are going to focus on rows, values and columns. So if I take color and put it in rows, drag and drop, on the left side I will see that a unique list of colors has appeared automatically. Then if I take quantity and drag and drop it to values, I will get a list of color wise how many quantity have we sold. A simple report in no time. If I switch the color from rows into columns. If I drag and drop it into columns, I'm going to get my data this way, column wise. So if anything is in columns, it's going to appear like this. If it's in rows, it's going to appear like this. So if I want to further create a report, I can take gender and put it under color in rows. This is what I would get, right? Under color gender wise. If I move it from rows to columns, I'm going to get this as a report. Row wise, column wise, like I like a matrix. So this was your first pivot table. Check out more videos to learn more about pivot tables.